Pokój dobro, witam wszystkich na 141 spotkaniu w cyklu Głos Biura Promocji Kultu Męczenników z Parekoto. Dzisiaj mamy 20 czerwca 2023 roku. Znajdujemy się we Włoszech, w Rzymie, w Międzynarodowym Franciszkańskim Kolegium Serafikum. W tym to kolegium dzisiaj odbywa się uroczystość przekazania relikwii pierwszego stopnia pierwszych polskich misjonarzy męczenników błogosławionego Zbigniewa Strzałkowskiego i błogosławionego Michała Tomaszka. Zapraszam wszystkich do obejrzenia relacji z tego wydarzenia.
grazie a Dio per questo momento importante per la nostra comunità del Serato. Però penso che anche questo momento è importante per tutto l'ordine, eh, perché siamo rappresentanti dell'ordine dappertutto, tutto il mondo è presente qui. Eh, vorrei ringraziare al Ministro Provinciale della provincia di Cracovia, da dove provenivano i nostri martiri del Perù. Eh, la loro presenza intercessione tra noi qui al Serafico, nella casa dove avviene la formazione, è un segno speciale. Qui si svolge la formazione dei frati di tutto l'ordine e quindi questa presenza dei martiri sarà un segno e testimonianza speciale. Il loro ragionamento, il loro esempio di vita, vita soprattutto francescana, eh, continu continuano eh, a ispirare eh, la giovane eh, generazione dei frati. E la L'attualità della loro missione è il donare la propria vita in nome del Vangelo e di Cristo sarà per tutti noi una sfida per vivere meglio secondo i consigli evangelici e per testimoniare agli altri la nostra fede. E io assicuro tutti, voi soprattutto il nostro ministro provinciale, e le reliquie dei beati martiri troveranno degna collocazione nella nostra cappella qui e la comunità fraterna le circonderà di fervente culto invocando la loro intercessione presso Dio. Colgo l'occasione di salutare, dare benvenuto a tutti gli ospiti che sono venuti qui proprio per questa celebrazione. Eh, C'è con noi, che fa parte dell'incontro dell'Assemblea Fraterna, il delegato della missione Delegazione in Perù, da eh, Jacek Risowski. C'è anche con noi eh, padre Rafa, che adesso è il guardiano e parroco del, del Variacoto, dove i nostri martiri hanno lavorato e, e, e sono stati uccisi. E con il padre Rafa c'è il gruppo delle sei persone e, che provengono da Pariacoto. E questo è il coro che durante questa celebrazione anche canterà e, per noi. E, tra loro c'è Suor Berta che è testimone del martirio dei due nostri martiri. E poi anche eh, abbiamo gli ospiti della Polonia, proprio della famiglia dei due martiri. C'è con noi il fratello Marek che è eh, gemello di eh, padre Miha. C'è con noi anche eh, sua sorella Maria. Eh, C'è con noi il fratello di padre eh, eh, Zbigniew, il fratello si chiama Angelo.
un artista, un monografo che collabora con noi e lui è autore di tutte le icone che vedete in questa cappella. Eh, si chiama Antonio de Benedictis e lui ha portato questa icona stamattina e ha spiegato un po' che cosa rappresenta, ovviamente rappresenta due martiri che hanno un gesto, fanno un gesto del mano che significa la testimonianza e tengono nelle mani anche la croce che la croce è sempre, sempre il segno del, del sacrificio della, del martirio. Quindi ringraziamo a Dio a questa, per questa possibilità, opportunità di celebrare questa eh, eh, messa e, e chiediamo l'intercessione dei due nostri parti per tutti noi. So they were sent to Peru. Uh, they worked in Pariacoto almost two years. As we heard, uh, together with us is uh, Father uh, Rafał, who is a parish priest uh, and a guardian in uh, Pariacoto. He's the one. Uh, their lives were lived with uh, missionary labor. Let's say ordinary labor uh, as missionaries, but done with passion, uh, with uh, zeal, and uh, they were very hard working people. Uh, you can imagine two years, two years was enough for them to, uh, to, to be with people, so the people they fall uh, in love with them. So they, after two years, they, they were killed, but the people still, after even 30 years, they still remember them very well. So they are with us here uh, from Pariacoto. Among them, there are people who uh, remember very well, especially Father Michael, who organized them as a, as a band singing team. So, proszę uh, też, żeby wstali uh, ci, którzy przyjechali z Pariakoto. Thank you very much. Gracias. Uh, so, love can make friends. And the friends, they are here, even after 30 years. 
<coughs> that was two years that was enough. Uh, Michael and uh, Zbigniew, they were captured on 9th uh, August uh, 1991 in Parque Pariacoto, tight, taken outside of Pariacoto and shut down by uh, guns. <coughs> Uh, and the last person who saw them uh, several minutes uh, away from the dead was Sister Berta. It's a living testimony to us, a very precious one, and she's with us here. I tell you, he is a real hero. Sister Berta. <coughs> Risking life. She entered by force the car where the martyrs were captured and died. And she can give a testimony how the prior they supported each other, how they confessed each other on the way to the execution site. And finally, she was thrown away uh, from, uh, from the car by force again by the, uh, by the terrorists. And they burned uh, a bridge, and after several minutes, uh, her, uh, she heard uh, you know, the echo of uh, shouting, shooting the, the, the martyrs. Yeah. <coughs> She's a, a living witness, uh, but we could say that's the end of the mission. It's not, it was not the end. You know, because their mission is still going on, it continues. Because we have uh, been uh, receiving so many testimonies about the miracles and graces which they receive all the time. Just two weeks ago, we printed uh, a book with the subtitle uh, Graces and Miracles uh, Received uh, through the intercession of the martyrs of uh, Padiakov. The full book is a testimony of their activities. They are active all the time. They are still giving us testimony, but they are still alive. Uh, so through these uh, testimonies which we, which we have, which we have received in our provincial Korea. We can say that uh, my speaking is the patron saint of the suffering and sick on soul and body, advocate uh, of the captive and possessed. Michael. Michael is a patron saint of uh, children, of the youth, and also uh, interceding for women who cannot conceive a child. That's the area. But uh, both of them, both of them, they are uh, patrons of the Rosary Crusade in defense of terrorism in the entire world. In the entire world, till today, there are more than half a thousand of a thousand places where the relics, the first class relics, they are. Because they are almost everywhere in the world. But what's the message of them for us? For us as the order, is there any message? Or only, the, or the, only for, uh, for the family, for the people in Pariakoto, for those who have devotion. Is there any message for us as Franciscans? <coughs> this event has been, uh, we, we, we are attending it in a very special time. A fraternal meeting is held. <coughs> Representatives of the entire order uh, take part of it. We are preparing for the general chapter. That's the time. Uh, 
we uh, discern signs of life in the order uh, signs of life even today the day we sacrifice for it uh, one of them that we, uh, we should uh, read are the two brothers that's a very important sign in my opinion the beatification confirmed that they are a sign of divine providence for us how to read this sign? Mm, you know, looking at the missionaries, we could say, okay, they are martyrs. We could uh, look carefully in this area. They, they, were, they had a passion for evangelization. Missionary vocation, of course. Uh, love for people, of course. But is there any, anything else? I would like to, uh, to note something uh, basic, fundamental, uh, I mean their friendship, they were friends and uh, uh, what does it mean that friends uh, by hearts? They were friends, uh, the true brotherhood was between them. They were built on the true brotherhood, the friendship. Faith, since we lived uh, Franciscan and missionary vocation, it was a support for them in the pastoral work. And you know, me personally, I am convinced, and I'd like to share with you, that uh, if not the friendship between them, two of them, they wouldn't be able to, to sacrifice their life. We wouldn't have martyrs. The friendship helped them. And the sister can give a testimony that even when they were in a car, they confessed to each other. By words, they supported each other. They, uh, they encouraged each other. That was a real friendship. And this icon is very important because, because it, could, it should be done by a shape of a heart. Because the, the icon shows what was in the heart of the martyrs? Which emotions? Which values? You know, those, you know, in the middle of the icon is, is a cross. The cross unites them, showing the faith on which the friendship was built. You know, the palm of, of hands, showing the testimony. And uh, also, Oriel, in red color, friendship which is red up to the extent of uh, martyrdom. So today we asked ourselves to, during the meeting of, uh, of the general uh, gathering about uh, the heart of friends. That is the example for us, in my opinion, the friendship. They encourage each other. Uh, you know, they gave each other courage to the last moment of their lives. They, their blood mixed with the ground in the same place. They are buried in the same tomb. Together they make pilgrimages in one reliquary. Most more than 500 places, as I said. If someone experiences miracles uh, through their intercessions, they testify that they are most often together. Evangelical Brotherhood is a condition of, uh, for an effective evangelization. They are telling us, brothers, our future is in our evangelical brotherhood. 
That's the prophetic sign for us, which we have to read and go deeper into it. I'd like to show you again this book, and that will be the end for this family. Now, on this uh, book, the, the brothers, they embrace each other. They embrace each other. Like this, let me show. They are showing the real brotherhood. I think together with the icon, also this picture shows everything what we have to read. So dear brothers, speaking of Michael, that's it for us. Be a sign for us. Amen. Thank you.
I to już wszystko w tym spotkaniu. Zapraszam na następne. Zapraszam do oglądnięcia stron internetowych poświęconych męczennikom. Linki znajdziecie na końcu tego filmu. Zapraszam do subskrypcji kanału Michał i Zbigniew. Dzięki temu będziecie na bieżąco otrzymać informacje o wszelkich nowych materiałach pojawiających się na tym kanale. Zapraszam również do ściągnięcia aplikacji mobilnej Męczennicy z Parekoto. Tam możecie wpisywać swoje prośby, podziękowania i świadectwa. Niech bracia męczennicy wszystkim Wam błogosławią i wypraszają wszelkie łaski potrzebne każdemu. Pokój i dobro. Na wieki są, oni tutaj są.